Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video, as you'll have seen by the title, is my bronzer, contour, blush and highlighter collection and declutter. I don't know why I can't, I can't get my words out. Um, yes, um, this look is from my most recent Karma Chameleon. Um, I use the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me at Midnight palette. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, if you would like to see my collection of contour, bronzer, blush and highlight and what I might get rid of, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so we're going to start with face palettes. I have kind of sorted these out as any palette that has two or more face products in. Um, so before I get started, if you can hear that awful noise in the background, I apologise. Um, there's construction going on across the road. They've just knocked down a huge building. I think they're digging the rest out the ground. I have no idea. But anyways, apologies um, if you can hear that. So I'm going to start with my Too Faced Coco Contour Palette. And hopefully it's not going to be too bad on the reflectiveness. Um, I don't even know if that's a word. Um, this I absolutely adore. It barely looks touched, but believe me, I have used this and just a ton. I absolutely love it. It still smells absolutely amazing, like 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 vanillary chocolate. It smells like chocolate. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. This will be going nowhere. Um, I do keep it in its box just because it's easier to store that way. And next up, um, this will not be going anywhere. I absolutely love this. Look, look at that. I'm a sucker for this kind of packaging. Um, this is the Natasha Denona Love Cheek Duo. It's a cream blush and highlighter. And this is what you get. This cream blush is beautiful. I might show a few bits here. Look at that shade. Don't know how well that's going to show up on camera shade wise, but it is beautiful. And this highlight, oh my word, just look at that. I don't know if it's going to, there we go. Look at that. I love this. Um, so yeah, obviously that's going nowhere. And another one that will be going nowhere is my Natasha Denona Bronze Cheek Face Glow Palette. I haven't even used this yet, um, but I will because it looks so beautiful so yes i won't swatch that because i haven't used that yet but it's definitely staying and then another one staying this is my lethal cosmetics um palette that i i kind of chose the three shades for in um i'm gonna have to put a sticker on the back with the names because i cannot for the life of me remember the names of the three shades so i've got the two blushes and the bronzer I love these so much. I love Lethal Cosmetics. Um, this one here, look at this shade. Imagine it in screen, just look at that. It is the most beautiful yellow shade. Um, so yes, that will 100% not be going anywhere. Um, okay, let's move on to so I then have this palette here. This is from I Heart Revolution, the Gold Elixir highlight Highlighter Palette. And this one looks like this. I love this. Revolution do know how to do face products really well. I, I love the highlighters generally. Um, it's not very often that I don't like a highlighter from Revolution. Um, but these are stunning. I'm not gonna swatch everything, but she says swatching everything so far pretty much. Um, look at those they are so pretty um so yes that won't be going anywhere and then another one from i heart revolution this is chocolate marble bronzer um this however i will be parting with because i haven't touched it in ages and um, yeah i choose so many things over it so one for the declutter um next up i have this it's a Duo Blush and Highlighter from, this is the Relove Revolution, one of the many sub-brands of Makeup Revolution. Um, this is beautiful. I really enjoy using this, especially the blush. It's a really lovely shade, goes on beautiful. So yes, I will be keeping that. 
really not doing well. Again, this one will be going nowhere. This is the e.l.f. Bite Size, what does it say? Rouge and Highlighter. It's in the shade Guava. Um, these are so affordable. Um, same with the Revolution ones. Um, I do love to have aff affordable options in my collection. And this is beautiful. I really enjoy this. So yes, another one staying. We're not doing well. The palettes, to be fair, the palettes I probably won't get rid of many of because it's not very often that I, I get a palette that I enjoy. Um, anyways, um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I have it in, this is the mini, and it is in light to medium. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous, I love this. It goes on the skin so smooth and looks so natural and yeah I can't fault it I love it um, so yes that will be staying um, next up is the Jouer light to medium bronzer duo um, this one is I believe too light for me sadly um, I want to love it so much um, but yeah it's just too light so I am going to have to declutter that Okay, and next up, this is from Catrice. It's Shape in a Box Contouring Palette and Fixing Powder in the shade Light. Um, this is brilliant. I love this. And I, I love to have, well, options within the affordable range. I like to do full faces of certain brands, Catrice being one of those that I think because I love most of their products, I, I probably do that more. Um, but this is beautiful. The shades, they're just a really good match for me. So that will be going nowhere. Um, another one going nowhere. God, we're on a roll here. This is the Beauty Bakery Neapolitan Bar Face Palette. And it's got the, if I hold it that way, it's got a blush, a highlight, and a bronzer. And the shades are beautiful. I mean, this highlighter. Hey look at that how beautiful is that um yes i absolutely absolutely adore this and again beauty bakery is another indie brand um love this it's going nowhere and then we have this is from she glam the sweet blush trio sweet cheeks blush trio and um, this is in the shade private cabana and there are these three more peachy orangey leaning shades and I love them. These are my kind of shades. I do love a peachy orange blush and I like to have some bits like that in for a, if I do a full face of She Glam or whatever. Um, but the quality on these is so good at such an affordable price. But yes, going nowhere. Okay, and next up is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit and these are the shades this is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous you probably i don't know if you can see the dent in that one this is pink heart and lucky clover and blue eyes these are my three favorites in here and i will show you why where can we do it let's just do it here as i don't know if you'll see this the shiftiness in them or not on camera look at those they are stunning um so yes this will be going nowhere this shade in particular i use an awful lot um as my contour it is beautiful so yeah i will be keeping that okay let's go with this next so this is the odensai solomon highlight palette um odensai is an indie brand i believe swedish and this is what she looks like inside and oh my word this one here and this one here yeah she said she wasn't gonna swatch but look at the quality of those how beautiful are they so yes obviously that is going nowhere i highly recommend this it is such a beautiful highlighter palette okay 
Yeah, I can't see many, if any, of the rest of these palettes going anywhere. Um, this is the She Glam Stereo Face 6 French Girl. And this is all cream products. Um, so we've got like bronzer and contour shades. Um, you've got your cool nude blush. It's got everything in it and it is so good. And then moving on, I've got this Revolution um, imag Imagination. Imagination. <laughs> it's the Highlight to the Moon palette. That's a, a collab one. And these are the shades. This is just too light for me even the deepest shade i can just about use the deepest shade um but i i won't use this so that will be being decluttered there you go i said i wasn't going to be decluttering any face palettes and so far i've decluttered three not bad going stuff um next up this will be going nowhere and um, this is from Kaleidos, um another indie brand that i absolutely adore this is the charisma contour palette in cool and light um I've got <laughs> shimmer everywhere now um and obviously it gives you the directions on there whatever but you can use it however you want um i love this this is beautiful this contour shade is stunning this makes an amazing bronzer um this good brightening for like underneath where you contour your cheeks beautiful um one of my favorites uh, next up is another favorite please excuse the shiny packaging this is the revolution and roxy roxaurus contour and highlighter palette and you might be able to see that it has my perfect contour shade in this palette because I have hit major pan um I love this the highlighters are really beautiful as well they're not they're more on the I would say not so blinding because obviously you can um but they've they're definitely more um for if you're wanting a more subtle look still very pretty very very pretty and my daughter got me this um so this will be going nowhere um another couple of revolution ones here so we've got this soph x glow soph with revolution um this is the cookies and cream one these are beautiful highlighters absolutely stunning um Again, Revolution really knows how to do an amazing highlighter. Um, so yes, 100% will be keeping that one. And another one from Soph with Revolution Highlighter Palette. I think it's just called Highlighter Palette. Yeah, it is. And this one contains even more highlighters and I love them. I believe this was from the original collab she did with Revolution correct me if I'm wrong and the one that I just showed was with her latest collab I know that much um but this I was very late to the game getting this my daughter has it and kept telling me how wonderful it was and I was having none of it um yeah and then I tried it and the rest is history it's staying okay where are we at now not many face palettes left um oh the fairy blush palette this is from likely makeup let me get into it i should have taken it out of the box to begin with but seriously look at that just artwork let me get that out and this is the packaging of the palette itself oh my word how beautiful is that isn't that just the most beautiful packaging you have ever seen i i'm just in love with that and on the back it gives you the names but again just look at the detail it's so beautiful and then you have the blushes and oh my god these are amazing the green i can't make work on its own but if i mix it with sunstone um i can make it work um but the rest um i can use on their own i absolutely adore this this is Oh, the formula of these blushes is amazing. I love that they're really quirky colours. It's just beautiful. Um, so yes, going nowhere. Okay, so there's only three of the face palettes left. This is from Beauty Bakery. Um, so yeah, another one. Um, the one thing, oh, this is the piece of cake blush palette. <laughs> 
The one thing that really annoys me is all of this wasted space for three blushes. Um, but they are three beautiful blushes and I love them. I won't part with them, especially this one. Just let me put my hand down there. Look at that shade. Isn't that just stunning? And these shades would show up, in particular these two, um, on a much deeper skin tone. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. So yes, that one's staying. And then these two will definitely stay. So I've got the Sigma Sculpt Highlight and Contour Palette. And that's what this one looks like. I have used this a ton, not that you can tell by looking at it. Um, but these shades are just beautiful. Um, this is the perfect contour shade. This is my perfect bronzer. Um, sometimes if, if I've got a little bit more colour, I can mix these two as contour. Um, the highlighters, I can use them all. Absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So yes, this is going nowhere. And finally for the palettes, this is the Sigma Chroma Glow Shimmer and Highlight Palette. And these are the shades, and oh my word, this one in particular, Zeal. Oh, now this, I don't know if you'll be able to see the shift in that. Look at that, it is beautiful. It's got like a, is it green to purple? Oh my God, it is just stunning. Um, these shades, they're all stunning. So yes, this is staying also. So guys, three palettes decluttered and the rest staying. Okay guys, so now we're on to bronzer and contour. I'm going to start with the powder and then go on to the cream. I apologise for the background noise. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to hear that because it's so loud. It's so loud. Um, but anyways, let's get started with this. So first up here is from Kiko Milano. This is the Unexpected Paradise Bronzer and oh... Oh my word, I love this. I love this so much. This is such a beautiful bronzer and it smells amazing. Does it still smell? Oh yes, it smells like coconut. What more could you ask for? So yes, that is definitely going to be staying. Um, and another one from Kiko Milano. This is the Waterflower Magic Bronzer. Oh, I didn't say what shade that one was in. The first one was in zero to universal sienna and this is in the shade zero one warm honey and oh it's just so beautiful oh, it smells what does it smell it smells sweet it's beautiful anyways um yeah i love i love the kiko bronzers they are so good so i will definitely keep that um and Again, with another Kiko bronzer. This is the Flawless Fusion Powder Bronzer in the shade 4. And this one, however, is too light for me, sadly. So this one is going to be being decluttered. Okay, so next up, this is from Peaches and Cream, is their Sculpting Powder Light to Medium. And I use this a lot. I absolutely adore this. It's so beautiful. And Peaches and Cream is a UK indie brand. So yeah, love to support that. We'll be keeping that one. Another indie brand, Nabla. This is the Skin Bronzing in the shade June. This, as you can probably tell by yeah, how worn it looks, um, is one of my absolute favourites. I use this a lot and I love it. So that will be going nowhere. Then I have this Zoeva um, Radiant Bronzer Stroke Highlighter. What is it even? Ah, Lumi 0 0.3 is the shade. And it says Share Your Light. I love that. This I used... Really? Do they really have to dig that loud? Um, this, this I used mixed all together and it creates a really beautiful shimmery bronzer. Um, have you finished yet? Well, I think they might have done for now. Um, touch wood. So this one I love. I will definitely be keeping. I picked this up in TK Maxx. Um, super cheap. Okay, guys. So next up is from Madage Beauty London. This is getting ridiculous, this noise. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, if you can hear that. 
which you more than likely can. So this is the Skin Glow in the shade Arabia. It is a beautiful glowy bronzer. Spin that around. Look at that. It is so beautiful. I love this. Um, yeah. So 100% keeping that. Ooh, how many of the powder ones have we got left? Oh, we're not doing too bad here. So next up is it's from XX Revolution. I believe, yeah. XX Revolution. This is the bronzer in the shade Command. And I do love the packaging, but it makes me want to sit and do that. Um, this is the shade. This is beautiful. I love it. I know XX Revolution is not as affordable as their other sub brands. Um, but yes, I do really enjoy this, so I will be keeping it. And then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the shade Tawny. This, sadly, has cracked. Um, it's not going to stop me using it. It's beautiful. I don't know if I can... Yeah, look, it just... Oh, it broke. Um, this is the shade. It is absolutely stunning. I love it. So I will 100% be keeping that. And then... <laughs> Last of the powder bronzers. This is the Be Perfect and Jack Josser bronzer Mykonos in the shade Mykonos. It says a soft matte bronzer with deep golden brown tones. Um, I love this. This is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, definitely will be keeping that. I do love the, you'll see as we move on because I have the blushes and highlighter of uh, these style kind of things I have from Be Perfect but I do really enjoy using this um, so yeah going nowhere now on to move them forward the cream contour and bronzers um, so I'll start with my Made by Mitchell ones because I have two um, say blush so I've got toned up and caramel chisel and yeah I, I won't be parting these the parting ways with these um i absolutely adore the formula of these it is just so nice um so yes definitely we'll be keeping hold of both of those um oh now this one the catrice bouncy bronzer um it's in the shade cuba vibes um i i really don't like the consistency of this um i cannot get on with it at all sadly so this will be being decluttered and i have two of the elf putty bronzers so i have the shades they're in such tiny writing bronzed bell and honey drip i basically chose the colors of these based on steph's beauty stash because yeah we tend to wear very similar shades of things so i i do tend to watch watch her videos and go from there um, but yes, I don't regret either of these. They're absolutely beautiful. The formula is amazing. Um, they're affordable. I highly recommend them. So that's another two keeps. Right, so we have here the She Glam. It's, um, I can't remember what they call it. Some kind of stick. It's in the shade Cinnamon. This is so good. Um, it does come with a little brush the other side. I can't get on with those little brushes. Um, but I love that it has them. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's quite, it's kind of that soft, soft plastic effect. I don't know how you describe it. Um, but I really enjoy this. And again, She Glam's products are amazing. In particular, the face products. Right, one of these I can part with because I have two of the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzers. So I have Butter Biscuit, which is perfect. It's like my perfect shade. I love it. But then I have, I picked this up first and completely just made a mistake, obviously. Um, it is way, way too deep for my skin. I have tried using it as contour and I can just about pull it off, but... I think it's this one it's time to say goodbye to so this one however the formula is just so good I absolutely love this and you can probably see it gets quite a lot of use um so yes that will be staying um right and here we have this is the revolution fast base stick foundation in f11 um I picked this one and another shade up as a 
a collection like a contour kit um because they're doing them in that so this is the shade here um i don't mind it i don't mind it at all am i realistically going to use it no it is a bit on the light side um so yes i am going to declutter that and then next up is the Kiko Milano Sculpting Touch Creamy Stick Contour um, in the shade 201. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. The formula is beautiful. And yeah, no complaints whatsoever. So I will be keeping that. And also my Sosu um, Contour Stick in the shade Cool. This um, is just kind of the perfect shade i love this i've raved about this so many times on my channel and as you can see it is very very well loved so yes i will be keeping hold of that and then the last of the cream bronzers or bronzers and contour this is the huda beauty tantor contour and cream bronzer cream in the shade light this is one of my favorites you can probably tell by the dip there. I don't know how well you can see the dip. This is one of my absolute favourites. The formula is just perfect. I love it so much. Um, this is something I would definitely repurchase if I were to run out. Okay, guys. So now moving on to blushes. I'm going to go with powder first, the same as I did with um, the contour and bronzers. So first up is the Be Perfect Scorched Um in the shade magma and this is oh this is so beautiful i don't know if i've got any parts of me left to look at that shade it is gorgeous i i love this i really want to get some more of these blushes um it's absolutely stunning but i will be keeping a hold of that and then next up, this is from Pretty Vulgar, and it's called, it says Make Them Blush, it's in the shade Hush Blush. I don't know if this brand's still going, I haven't heard anyone talk about it in ages, um, but I absolutely adore this shade. It is just the perfect neutral blush for me, um, because yeah, I, I can do neutral makeup, maybe not on the eyes so much, but um, yeah, I absolutely adore this formula, it's gorgeous. So I will be a keeping hold of that. And another one that I will be keeping, I received this in PR, it's from Makeup by Lisa, it's the Mineral Blush in the shade Coral. And I don't know how much you're going to be able to see the shade, because it's obviously got the plastic on. Let me see if I can twist this around that you can... Does that make it any easier to see? Not really, does it? Um, I love that it's got this little twisty thing. Perfect. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I never thought I would like kind of mineral blushes and stuff um but yeah i discovered i like mineral foundations and mineral blushes um so yes i will be keeping hold of that and then next up this is from milani this is the baked powder blush in shade luminoso i was after this for so long um to start with i thought i'd made a mistake i thought i didn't like it but then i realized after talking to other people um that they've kind of got an overspray on these baked ones that you have to get through and um, once you get through it i mean oh look at that shade i mean that shade is just divine um so yes i started off very disappointed um but then soon discovered i absolutely love it i can see what the hype's about so that is definitely staying i'm covered in sparkles and then next up is a really affordable blush. This is from MUA, the Blushed Matte Blush Powder in the shade Atomic Tangerine. Um, this is a really nice blush. And again, it's just so nice to have these affordable options, but it's super pigmented. It blends out really well. I can't complain. Um, Oh, have I got other affordable blushes? Mm, oh, I don't actually really need it, do I? I don't really need it because I have another very affordable one that I will be keeping a hold of. Um, I am going to declutter this one. 
Um, this is the other affordable one, and this is from She Glam. It is their lightweight matte blush in the shade Tangerine, and this is beautiful. It's a, an ombre blush, but I just use the whole lot mixed together. Um, super, super affordable, and just really, really good formula. Um, right, next up, there's this Tarte Rewards blush in it's the amazonian clay blush, 12 hour blush in the shade quirky um this is super cute super super cute um yeah check. see i've got this shade so many times over but i love the formula now i can't part without that staying so next up is this Skin Glazing from Nabla. It's in the shade Lola. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. It is a shimmery blush. It looks stunning on. The formula's amazing. Highly recommend it. I will be keeping that. Um, and also my Madage Beauty London. This is the Skin Kiss blush in the shade Sakura Kiss. Um, this is great if I'm doing a really airy fairy pinky look um because it is quite pale so I do tend to use it more of a over a like a, a deeper cream blush if that makes sense um but it's very beautiful and I will be keeping hold of it then next up I have the melt um what's it called digital dust duo blush oh my god this is so beautiful this kind of it's like a blush and highlight in one. Um, I've used this multiple times um, without using a highlighter as well and it is stunning. Such an amazing formula. It is more on the costly side um, but so worth it. Right. I have three of these blushes from Odin's Eye. Um, two of them are flower blushes so the first one is the flower blush in, in the shade sweet tulip this is absolutely gorgeous i love the formula of these then there's the flower blusher in the shade little jasmine this one's a really sparkly blush it's absolutely gorgeous and the fruit blusher in the shade ripe papaya uh, this is the matte one those are both um, more shimmery ones the flower ones and then fruit ones are the matte ones I love all three of these um, so yes they will be going nowhere um, all right when it comes to powder blushes I don't think I've got many that I don't use um, so this one is from Soeva it is the visionary light hmm, in the shade supreme um, it's very reflective packaging's really bad um i i like this how much how much do i like it look at that yeah i do really like this that's staying <laughs> um and the rest of these powder blushes here are all from pouts and shouts and um, i won't be getting rid of any of these so we have typhoid mary um she looks like this absolutely gorgeous um make some space in there um then we have pink me up and she looks like this pouch and shout is well this is my absolute favorite blusher formula um she's a uk indie brand very small and amazing um this one is the rise and shine um beautiful yellow blush absolutely stunning um then contrary mary and this is the shade there kind of like a a brick orange terracotta -y. it is beautiful and sticking with the orange theme we have sensitive sally and as you can probably see this is one of my favorites because i have hit pan um so yes one of the most beautiful blushes ever um this is juicy lucy and she looks like this this is another one that's you can probably see very well loved beautiful then we have boozy susie which is this absolutely stunning purple blush it looks so beautiful and it's got some little shimmers in it and i love it and then we have chatty kathy 
and she looks like this absolutely gorgeous um doesn't quite look in the pan how it looks out so i will swatch this one but look just look at that beautiful shade and the formula of these is absolutely amazing um, I'm always recommending them to anyone that will listen and um, finally this was one that was gifted to me from Pouch and Shout this is Candy Floss Clouds and oh I adore this absolutely adore it it is just amazing I've hit pan on this one too um, so yes my absolute favourite blush or powder blush formula and now on to cream blush um, I will first bring out my made by Mitchell ones because I do have a few and they will not be going anywhere so we've got mango daiquiri this is I think my favorite out of them absolutely gorgeous orange blush um, then we have where's the SPF this one's a really like a deep orange it is stunning I love it um, this one here is melon sorbet this is nice for a more neutral or more I don't know, neutral look more natural looking blush um, I still I absolutely adore this um, we have posy rosy this shade is stunning also and peach sugar this is another one of my favorites it is beautiful I love it um, and then also I have these um, Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out freestyle cream blushes um, I won't be getting rid of these either um, so we have Fuego Flush and that looks like this absolutely gorgeous is this going to focus there we go that's Fuego Flush and then we have Strawberry strawberry drip yes strawberry drip and <laughs> um, look at that isn't that gorgeous the formula on these is absolutely amazing um we have drama class beautiful purple cream blush it goes really well with i think it's boozy susie my uh pout and shout powder purple blush perfect and finally for those we have summertime wine and that looks like this absolutely gorgeous and right so let's move into these okay so i have two of these elf monochromatic multi sticks i have dazzling peony and glimmering guava so dazzling peony looks like this it's very pretty but am i going to use these Oh, I'm, oh, I'm torn here. I've got so many of this kind of shade blushes. The same with these. Hmm. And they're off again across the road. Um, I think I am going to, I'm going to part ways with both of these because so that's too decluttered um, because I have the Elf Putty Blush. This is in the shade, I think it's like Turks and Caicos or something like that. Um, I believe it's a place. And this is the shade. This is absolutely stunning. I love this blush. So, yes, I feel confident letting the other two ones go, having this and the others that I have. And this is from Revolution. It is the Fast Base Blush. Um, in the shade blush um, this is absolutely gorgeous yeah I can't part with that it is beautiful so yes I will be keeping hold of that yeah this isn't going quite so well is it okay um, right next up this is from uh, by Beauty Bay it's in collaboration with Disney Colour it's the lip and cheek duo the shade is Mad Hatter so we have this side is for lips um but then this side is the blush and i really like it so i am going to keep hold of that um then we have this velvet touch creamy stick blush from kiko milano this one i think i can let go of can i yes i am going to let go where am i oh what do i do 
Yeah, I am going to let go of that because I've only used that once. So that one's in the declutter. Um, then I have this MUA blushed, liquid cream blush in the shade Watermelon. This is one of my favourite cream blushes and they are so affordable. It is unreal. Um, so yes, definitely keeping hold of that. Um, so this one I'm still making up my mind on. It is the Ciate London Dewy Blush. It's a glossy cheek tint. Let me just... Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, I'm gonna let this one go. So that's going in the declutter pile. Um, this here, I put it in with my cream blushes, thinking that I might use it for that. So it's the Dr. Pawpaw Hot Pink Balm Multipurpose Soothing Balm with Natural Pawpaw. I can't wear this on my lips because the color just looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, this is like very hot pink. Um, I haven't used it and to be fair it's just quite oily almost so I am going to declutter that one and then oh I feel better about getting rid of the other Kiko one now because <laughs> I forgot I had this um so this one is the holiday gems double shine blush and highlighter so you've got the blush like shimmery blush on one side and then on the other side you have the highlighter I really enjoy this I love the formula so I will keep that um, I've got four of the um, lip and cheek balms from makeup by Lisa the names are wearing off of the bottom um, right which ones have I got here which one of you is so I think this is plum yeah that one's plum is it gonna focus just focus so oh that one's plum and then this one oh crikey what are you oh these two i can't remember but as you can see very well loved um it is a really creamy beautiful formula um uh, it doesn't lift the makeup, it just goes on beautiful. You can use them on your lips as well. Um, then I have this shade here. This one is, what are you? Ah, Coral Shimmer, this one is. And I love this, this is uh, one of my favorites. And then this is Geranium. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these. So none of them will be going anywhere. I do use them a lot. Well, this is definitely not a ruthless declutter. <laughs> um, how many more have we got left? A few. Um, okay, so this one is from She Glam. It's Plum Wine. And this is stunning. I absolutely love the look of this. Um, there's the shade it's beautiful the formula's lovely so i am going to keep hold of that but this is another she glam one this is cream to powder blush um in the shade permanent vacation let's just yeah i think i can let this one go okay so the she glam spring it on cream to powder blush in permanent vacation is being decluttered um also i i don't know if it's the color or the formula i can't make this work for me it's from ColourPop. it's a cheek juice serum blush and it's in the shade hotline um i think it might be just because the shade's too light so I might have to pick up a deeper shade at some point. Um, but yeah, this one is going to be decluttered. And then one of my favourite cream blushes. If you're not new to my channel, you will have seen this a lot. This is the Blushing Bubbles Cream Blush from Metamorphosis in the shade Emotion. Um, yeah, I, I adore this. I use this so much. It is just the perfect shade for me. And I love it and then we have this little one from milk makeup it's the only product i have from milk makeup and is the lip and cheek in the shade work and this is so nice again look at that shade so pretty and yeah it's the only thing i own from milk makeup so i will be keeping hold of that 
and then we have this is the planet revolution clean evolution beauty so i'm guessing another one of the sub brands it's from revolution and this is in the shade fresh raspberry and let me open that up this is a shade absolutely stunning um i've only used it once so i definitely won't be parting with that so blushes we have decluttered how many have we decluttered so one two three four five six seven eight not bad so that's eight blushes decluttered okay guys now moving on to highlighters first the powder highlighters now i think this might be what i have most of um but yes um so first up is this chromosome highlighter chromosome multi-chrome highlighter in the shade lucid from she glam and oh this is just so pretty just do that there I don't know if you'll be able to move my hand down see all the shifts in that it is so beautiful and so affordable um i don't think i need to keep saying that she glam is so affordable you get it on Shein, or however you say that but yes i won't be parting with that um nor will i be parting with this fenty beauty kilowatt freestyle highlighter and shade metal moon this is stunning dug something into that at some point um but this one is a really beautiful kind of almost naturally sheen but you can build it up i really love it so i will keep hold of that um where are we now um this is another one from she glam uh this is in the shade solo and i have got so many in the shade oh gosh um what do i do hmm hmm oh no i've i've got enough um of this kind of shade highlight highlighters so i am going to declutter that one and then i've got a couple more she glam ones here um so i've got this one here which is the metallic glow highlighter in stay sane this is gorgeous um it's quite glittery but i don't i don't mind that i don't know where you're gonna see it um but it is really beautiful so yes i will be keeping hold of that and also this um chill out ombre blush in the shade matcha um although i use this for highlighter um because it, to me it's more of a highlighter um but yes i love that also so that will be going nowhere oh i need to do well here <laughs> she says um this one is the ilamasca beyond powder highlighter in the shade deity and this is another absolutely gorgeous where can we go now gorgeous shade look at that beautiful um so yes i will definitely keep hold of that um oh this one i i'm going to come across this one because i had a look um for the website and sp cosmetics doesn't have a website anymore so it's uh it's closed down this is in the shade sunset glow i love this but yeah you can't you can't get it anymore so that is being decluttered okay, i'm running out of room here um so next i have two from spectrum um so i've got the zodiac spectrum sunray highlighter and that one looks like this it is absolutely gorgeous because you've got the look at that i can't yeah i can't part with that and then i've got the um is it oceana oceana and that one looks like this let me try this one oh actually this one i can yeah I, i'm going to declutter the oceana and keep the zodiac and then this is the be perfect polar vortex in the shade pink pink icicle i love this i've used this a lot recently um 
Not that you can really tell, but yeah, that is going nowhere. Um, I have this Beauty Bay highlighter in the shade Glaze. This is so impressive. And Beauty Bay really, really kind of upping their game, would you say? But I mean, look at that. It's stunning. Yes, I will keep hold of that. Oh dear. Okay, so I've got this I Heart Revolution Shimmering Highlighting Powder, the shade Banana. Um, I purely got this because it's bananas. Um, but I don't use it. <laughs> so that is going to go into the clutter pile. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, this next one here is from Josh Cosmetics, which is a UK indie brand. And this is in the shade Luna. And this, oh my word, it's got quite a, I don't know if you want to say sticky, but I mean, Jesus, look at that. I mean, I did rub my finger there. You don't need much of this. As you can see, look at that shine. It is so beautiful. Um, so yes, of course, this will be going nowhere. Ooh, where are we at now? Um, next up, I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Iced Out Highlighter. And um, loads of people seem to be like disappointed in this from what I gather, but oh my God, I love it. It is so beautiful. Look at that. Um, let's put it here. Look at that. How pretty is that? So yes, I definitely won't be parting with that. I, I really love it. And uh, next up, this is from Yvette Beauty in the shade Frost. This is another absolutely stunning highlighter. Look at that. Oh, it is just stunning. Um, Yvette Beauty is a US indie brand. Um, she sells, her products are really affordable, um, like more affordable than a lot of other indie brands, but the quality is you know, just as good the quality of the products is amazing. I'm covered in shimmer. Um, and yeah, I highly recommend um, the products. And uh, next up, this is from Ciate London. This is in the shade Celestial. If I can get into it. Let me have a look at this. Very pretty, but am I going to use it? No. I think it's just slightly the wrong shade for me so i am going to declutter that um this one is absolutely going nowhere this is one of my absolute favorite highlighters ever this is from v cosmetics it's the divine highlight i am aware she has released another highlighter which i will have to get my hands on because i mean where where can we go look just look at that isn't that just the most beautiful shade. I absolutely adore this. Um, again, V Cosmetics, UK indie brand, absolutely amazing products. I will be keeping that. Um, and also, this really surprised me because I've not really thought much about Pixie products. Um, this is the Glowy Powder in the shade Wednesdays. And this I was so pleasantly surprised by. Let me have a... I mean, seriously, for me, it's more of a blush topper. So I might have to pop that in with my blushes. But, oh, it is absolutely stunning. Yes, I think that will go in with my blushes. So I'll have to add a blusher on. Um, let's plank you over there. And, oh, this. Oh, my God, this is so beautiful. Uh, it's Jacqueline Cosmetics. And this is the Loose highlighter in the shade hypnotic and oh my word you wait till you see this is it gonna let me have any of that right um let's try here it is so you can really build it up or you can have it as this real subtle glow it is gorgeous i love the formula of this it is just like a little bit of magic so i will be keeping that um ah more not going anywhere these are my makeup by lisa highlighters i adore these so this one is my i'll save the best my favorite for last the best my favorite um it's purely down to the shade so the first shade i picked up was pearl 
and this was my favorite for a long time as you can see i've hit pan um which is difficult to do in a highlighter um but yes i've hit pan it is so stunning and i am gonna swatch these so i'm going to put that one there so that there is pearl look at that how stunning is that and then we have pink sunshine and this one i had to repress um because i dropped it and it broke um and then we have pink sunshine there absolutely stunning and then my favorite of these highlighters this one is in the shade strobe and oh this is just like heaven in a highlighter oh i took way too much there <sighs> way way too much um yeah we've got a bigger stripe with that one look at that how beautiful are they um makeup by lisa is a uk indie brand that i am completely head over heels in love with um so yeah i wouldn't part with those for anything um and let me grab my pout and shout ones um right i have five of the pout and shout highlighters so i have ha well they're all the happy glow lucky highlighters this one is the green frog and all right let's get my arm there so this one here is green frog look at that absolutely gorgeous highlighter and obviously these will be going nowhere <laughs> nothing from pout and shot will be going anywhere then we have the lucky black cats and oh, this one is super stunning also so this is the lucky black cat how beautiful is that this one's a really blinding one and then we have this is it lucky dice And this is absolutely stunning also look at that so pretty um, then the oh what one are you I can't is it blue moon I think it's called but this one is it's like a gray blue and it is beautiful absolutely beautiful the formula of her highlighters is just amazing um oh the last one here from pout and shout this one is sunny days and i think this one might be my favorite out of these um it is a true yellow highlighter and it looks like that look at those isn't that such a beautiful sight um, so yes, none of those will be going anywhere. I will be keeping all one, two, three, four, five of those. Um, so yes, those five are going nowhere. All right, now we move on to, I've got this little Ciate London Sunburst highlighter. Um, a little look. Um, yeah, I think I can get rid of that. I've got loads like that. So I am going to declutter that and then these last no i have a few more <laughs> let me go to these first um so i've got these three um they're the space age highlighters so i've got solar sailor skywalker and mars melter um the solar sailor should we do swatches let's do swatches because we can so we have solar sailor just look at that it isn't beautiful yellow blush blush highlight what's wrong with me and then we have skywalker i think this one might be my favorite of them um this is skywalker just look at that now if you want to be seen from space that is definitely the way to go um and then finally the mars melter and oh, i love this too just look at that look at the shift in it it is so pretty they are stunning i love the formula of these i really want to collect all of them um so yes those three are 100 staying 
Um, then I've got two loose highlighters here. I should have put the Jacqueline one with these, but I didn't. Uh, this is the Nubian by Juvia's loose highlighter in the shade Nefertiti. Oh, this is so beautiful. Um, if we've got any space left anywhere. Look at that, if you can see. It's definitely slightly more subtle, but absolutely beautiful. And then we have this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, this loose high highlighter in the shade Sunset Aura. And I think this one is going to be too dark. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's too dark. So I am going to part ways with the ABH one. See, it could be used easily as um, like a shimmery eyeshadow, but I've got so many eyeshadow palettes and single eyeshadows that I, I just wouldn't think to reach for it. Um, right, so now we are on to cream highlighters. Um, first one, this was uh, very kindly gifted to me from Nikki Raven. It's in the shade... I don't know. It's Dewy Cream Highlighter. It's from AOA Studios, which uh, I... Ooh. Um, do I... Hmm. I think I'm ready to let this go. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sadly, it's just the the formula is just too oily. So yes, so I'm going to declutter that. And oh my god, this is one of my favourites. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Halo. Oh my word, this is like drops of magic. Right. Are you ready for this? Just look at that. And it just shows up beautifully, even under um, face powder. Um, oh, I have this Artitude Cosmetics Glass Skin Ultra Reflect Qu Reflective Liquid Highlighter in the shade Hera. Unfortunately, these were discontinued. Um, I love it. Um, oh, crikey. Um, I think, oh, it's so pretty. If only it wasn't discontinued. Oh, no, I think I am going to, I'm going to let this one go. Um, you can't get it anymore. It's slightly on the deeper side for me. So I am going to let that go. Uh, next up, this one is from Pelton Shout. How cute is this? It's called Penguin's Special Snowball. And, oh, so cute. Um, this one here, oh, let me try it here. Look at that. It is so pretty. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see that. Um, it is absolutely stunning. I love this. And I will not be parting ways with that. Um, ah, this one here. So I've got this one from Morphe and it's Effect 2. Um, it's, oh. See, it is, it's very pretty, but I'm not gonna use it. So that is in the declutter. And then finally, um, I have here this she Glam Spring It On Liquid Highlighter. This one is in the shade Fancy Fizz. I did not like this at all. When I did a full face, I think it was a full face trying out um, She Glam products, um, this was the one thing I didn't like. Um, so yeah, 100% decluttering that. Okay guys, so that was my collection and declutter. Let me know how you think I did? I don't think I did too bad. Um, it definitely wasn't a brutal declutter, but then mine don't ever tend to be brutal because most things I get because I love them and I want to use them. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments section below how you think I did and 
if I've decluttered anything that you love, apologies. It will just be because either it doesn't work for me um, or I have others that I choose over it. So with that all said, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this, please do give it a like, thumbs up, that really helps me out. If you are new, if you love colourful makeup looks, if you love discovering indie brands, maybe some you hadn't heard of, then hit the subscribe button and if you hit the notification bell then YouTube will notify you every time I upload a video. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.